Hello and welcome gamers, this channel has been moved, although new videos will still be uploaded to this channel, they will all have this notification before it. So if you want to stop receiving this notification and view more up to date videos such as Clan of the Day and interviews, follow the first link down in the description below to the new Halo Clans channel. Thanks! Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's video. Today's video is an interview with Aperios2. He is the leader of the clan Traxxas, which is clan of the day number 50 on this channel. Um, a link will be down in the description below for that. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, how does Traxxas Industries or Traxxas differ from most clans as far as structure goes? Well, with us, we like uh, you know holding up the originality factor of everything. So that goes straight down to our divisions, to our core, to even our leadership. So, you know, for divisions, we'll start with that. We don't have the same names of all the other divisions, you know. For example, we have something called an expeditionary force, right? Yeah. You never probably never heard about that in another clan, you know. Yeah. Expeditionary means a journey, right? So we just thought of that because everybody inside the clan is obviously going somewhere. We're always moving forward. That's probably the best way to go, right? Yeah. All of our divisions have unique names, all that kind of stuff. We have an auxiliary force, security teams, and an FOG. FOG stands for the Field Operations Group. Most of the time, you know, you would hear the Army, the Rangers, or the ODSTs and the Spartans, or the Honor Guards, and so all that stuff. I'm not too fond on the elite structures, but we do have a St. Healy side of the clan. That's what makes us even more interesting oh boy, as a military base. going to get people to attack you then. <laughs> <laughs> oh well I, I know UNSC uh, has some problems with the Sanghealy clans at this point but like you said it's just a division right no 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 no. if you want to be a Sanghealy character yeah you can be inside of the clan with there's, we don't have division straight for that oh okay you know we have, we're open to many different sorts of player styles uh, all their kinds of likings we have UNSC uh, people that have been in that community for some time we have Sanghealy members of the community there and just general people that want to come by and try something new, that's what we do, right? Alrighty. So that's what it is. As for leadership, as I stated earlier, um, for a pretty big clan that we're running, I don't mean to brag, but there's only honestly two leaders, and we don't have any officers. It's uh, pretty easy to run the way we do it. We can say it's a dictatorship with a democracy, right? A lot of people may get revolted about uh, the dictatorship part, but <laughs> oh well. Um, our dictatorship is a bit different than most other dictatorships. Um, it's not a dictatorship. Monarchy. Monarchy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> clan leadership. <laughs> we, uh, all of the members inside the clan, whatever rank you are, wherever you're positioned, everybody here has a voice. As a leader, I only can do so much, right? And if I lead the clan my way, I'm not really going to, you know, make it and drill up for the rest. So everybody gets to say in everything, our colors, our uh, training sessions, everything like that. Right? Right. So let's go on with the training sessions here. Our training sessions are even unique. Um, instead of having a DI train everybody, we have the members train everybody. So... We get a bit of more atmosphere and a bit more of teamwork and cooperation with each other, and you guys can, you know, maybe work together, make new friends, all that kind of shit, because it's obviously a video game. You come on here to play, meet new people, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. um, Also, yep. uh, your recruitment video, uh, I believe, your divisions uh, are a little bit different uh, in the aspect of uh, once you climb to the top of a division that's not just it you can change divisions whatever without hassle of course you can you know here we get a lot of opportunity for the people that join you're not you know, set to one thing be able to jump around and see everything trial everything that's how we do it because you know it does get repetitive doing the same thing over and over again and that's uh, that's how we've been doing it for the longest time we understand repetitivity doesn't really work well with everyone I've heard that you do uh, clan recruitment a little bit differently uh, than most people. I mean, you know, occasionally you get a recruit and then you train them in. Uh, but I've heard you do this 
a little bit differently. Uh, care to uh, elaborate on that? Right. We make people wait. We sometimes make people wait a week to do stuff. But during the week, we give them smaller things to do, such as like recruiting tasks, little challenges they can do. You know, so it gives them some sort of objective to do. But the reason why we make them wait yeah. this long is, once again, it comes down to the repetitivity there. If we make people wait a certain amount of time, and the people that actually want to come, mm. you know, do the training, do client exercises. Yeah, it makes sense. If you uh, get them to put in time, and then, you know, they want to do stuff, not to mention it kind of keeps the rift draft out. If someone wants to come in and actually hurt your clan, then, you know, they're not going to want to put in the time. Um, on to the next question. Uh, you guys have obviously done raids. What have uh, been some of your toughest raids? The ones with uh, the unnecessary amount of uh, snipers. I don't have a toughest raid. Yeah. Every raid is, uh, has its challenges. Um, you overcome them in the end, right? Okay. Uh, do you have any uh, rivals so, or you know, do you have beef with anybody? I, I wouldn't be able to answer um, that. <laughs> and uh, what's been your biggest like conflict overall? Conflict, conflict. I wouldn't say we've had any rivals. We've never been in a war. Um, tying in with the originality, a lot of people nowadays just, just uh, want to go out and be big and be all known. Us, on the other hand, we just we're more of a passive yeah. one. We really don't care. Most of our members are, uh, you know, in their teenager, like late teens, maybe early twenties. So we've come to a point that it's just a video game, and it's unnecessary to go all crazy on people. Um, Conflict-wise, just like little conflicts. Yeah, that that's kind of mm, just the community. People talking shit <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but that's just. Um, uh, I, I do got to say that's something. That's their though. thing. Uh, we don't. Uh, we don't really that, condone that. You know, being passive isn't really well, a strength for the community. I mean, it's good for. It works for some people. It doesn't work for others. Um, be, because uh, some people see clans as. A doorway into kind of the pro oh, yeah. area of Halo gameplay. I know there's like a thousand dollar tournament up here in Indiana in June, um, but a lot of people see it that way, and they kind of see it as if I can get through <laughs> this base, then I should be able to get into the pro leagues. And then they need to realize that you know, unless you're going out and battling every day, then there's no point in it, and uh, you also got to look at the company that you keep, I suppose, because uh, it, it's like uh, you go in and you're with these people and you're calling everybody all kinds of names, yeah. and then one day you do get accepted into like a pro league with like Snipe Down or all those people, and then you call somebody something you shouldn't have at a tournament and then you get your whole team kicked out and that you know it, it's kind of in that territory um on to the on to kind of the next question um are you guys planning on moving over to the xbox one and uh yeah. if you are are you going to do that for mcc or halo 5 or are you waiting for mcc to get its problems fixed with like join in progress and that kind of thing well, MCC didn't work out really well for us. Uh, we were planning to go there as soon as it came out, but it turned out that uh, we couldn't join into the buddy in progress. There was no file browser, so we just said, okay, we're going back to Reach. Um, Halo 5 looks really interesting, but, uh, you know. I guess with all the errors on uh, MCC, you'd be kind of skeptical about joining Halo 5, um, especially with join in progress the way it is now um i know audio is kind of glitching out on my end so uh is there anything that you uh wanted to add i don't know if you want to join you can uh message me aprios2 over xbox or my colleague medic um 1636 we'll get well, you set I guess up that's about it then. and uh um, you know that's all the that's how questions it is. i had uh, not much i can really do else you want to add Well, thank you for putting up with my computer's BS because it didn't want to record for the first, what was that, hour and a half, two hours now? Mm. Um, Thanks for having me.
<laughs> yeah. Um, I, I got quite the system working over here. I have my computer or my TV setting on top of my computer. Let's see. Yeah, that was and like having a wire hours. running from the back <laughs> of my computer up to my TV. So, uh, yeah, that's what I had to do to get this interview to work. Uh, so, uh, I guess this has been Halo Clan signing out. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. You can find a link to their recruitment video down in the description below with a link to their YouTube channel also. Oh. Um, so uh, I guess I'll catch you guys all next time.